Georgina Kwancho Fashion School is a school that was named after my late grandmother, Katkins Georgina Kwancho. And uh, we literally wanted to bring into existence her very core beliefs. And that is giving back to society, irrespective of our adversities and beliefs in paying it forward. So we do not have to have everything to be able to support society, but in our little own way, we could make a lot of social interventions to enrich the life of somebody else. So this was the inspiration behind you know, the establishment of the school. And over the period, what we have looked to do is to intervene socially in the lives of people who are rather unfortunately left behind on the social ladder. And these people probably have finished school, probably finished JSS, uh, SSS, and have not been able to continue for one reason or the other. So the school came in to intervene in the community for such people. And we are looking at both female and male um, stu students. And so you would notice that we take the basic um, education being that you have uh, a GSS qualification. Once we started, the whole idea was to work towards covert ac accreditation. And so then we'll be able to do more beyond fashion, be able to do go into even technological skills, be able to go into areas like cosmetology, um, graphic designing, and other um, vocational skill training for members of our community. Technical vocation and education have become paramount. As a country, you can tell that it's one of the areas that we are looking to really project. I mean, you, you, you can easily agree with me that we have left that part of um, training and education uh, as a country for a long time and kind of made to feel like it's for the downtrodden. But there's a lot of wealth that could be made from it. There's a lot of employment opportunities that could be generated out of it. Indeed, when people get technical and vocational education, they become self-employed and self-reliant. And this is, for me, the best job you can create for anyone to, you know, do his own thing and create his own funds. And then from there, the value chain continues and people get, you know, opportunities to, you know, have careers and support family and support their lives the best way to even get out of this whole poverty bracket. There's a saying that you, you either go with a technological uh, revolution or you die. I mean, if we want to make this, and which of course is our vision, to make this a world-class fashion school and provide best of class and uh, state-of-the-art fashion uh, program for our students, there's no way we can do without technology. Today, people should be able to design and craft things easily with some web functions and applications and if you teach them the old skill the way the old way of doing it with the idea kind of thing i mean who, who patronizes any idea anyway you understand so we we'll literally be doing nothing to help them you know look be a bit future ready and so we we thought that empowering them with technological skill is very critical to make them future ready and make sure they are relevant for for future demands. This is a non-profit making group and so everything we are concerned about is about ensuring that humanity propels, humanity is enhanced, people are getting better lives you know for themselves and, and for their families. That I think uh, excites all of us and makes us a bit more fulfilled.